good morning to you all from Zongshan Station, MRT Station. It is 20 to 11 a.m. here on my trusty pulsar. Today we're heading out to the mountains and Maro can explain where we're going because I can't pronounce it. We're going to the Malco Gondola, which is a half an hour ride up to the mountain. On what? From Taipei Zoo. On a cable car. On a cable car. <laughs> anyway, we're going to jump on the train and we'll see you on the train. Let's go. And in we go. Get the amount of another train right on the glass bottom cable car. So once you get off the train here on the platform, you take exit one or two. Or exit one is to the Taipei Zoo and exit two is to the gondola, the cable way as I would call it. On the way there's a big Taipei Zoo plant sign. We're heading straight ahead and you can actually see the cable car. There's one coming down there, one going up. That's the cable car station straight ahead. Almost there now. Looks like we're pretty lucky. Doesn't look like there's any queues. I'm a little bit worried because I just felt the first raindrop. It won't be much fun if it starts raining in the ride. There definitely aren't a lot of people here, so we should have a good chance of getting a glass bottom cable car. You hear what the cost of the ride is? Yeah, 100 there and 100 back. 100 there and 100 back, and you can use the easy card. We don't have enough money on our easy card at the moment, so we've been told we can go up to the fourth floor in the building, in the same building where the tickets are, and uh, refill our easy card, which is what we're going to do now. We could have bought tickets also from the machine there with the cash, but we can use the prefer to use the easy card. We need to fill it up anyway. Yeah. And those of you who want to use the vending machines, there are plenty of them and this is what they look like. And the pricing etc. you can check on the website of this gondola. I actually believe that platform 4 where they're sending us up to fill our easy cards up is also the area where the cable car gondola is leaving from. Up to the fourth floor we go. Okay, it turns out that there is a queue, but it's not that bad. Maro's just standing here in the queue to drop up our uh, easy cards. Okay, so it turns out there are two queues. The long queue is for the glass button, what they call crystal, and the regular cable car is for two persons. Did I say that the crystal one is also for more than two persons, so we couldn't get it by ourselves. The lady told us we obviously want to film and want to carry it ourselves. So we'll take the regular one, and on the way down there's a chance that we can get the glass bottom one, which is what we're going to do. So now we we'll take the regular one and get up the mountain. The shortest queue is, of course, the regular. We're just going to use our easy cards here. So here we are, we made it. I've been on a chat so loud, there's an echo in here. <laughs> I'm riding over the jungle behind us. Yes, look at that. If you can see behind us. Well, it should take about half an hour. It's four it's kilometers. Hour trip. This is what it looks like. Oh, Let's look try and keep Maro in the picture too. Mm. Maro, follow the camera. Wow. Hey, wow, look, look at that. Look Look what's coming. This is absolutely amazing. Over the treetops we go. You can actually feel the cable car wobbling a bit here and there. Still one feels perfectly safe. And over there in the background, 
and see Taipei 101 peeping out from behind the hills. There it is there. And some rules there for riding in the cable car. You can pause the video and read them if you want to see them. Now we're going downhill. Mother was taking the front seat. We can have some balance. Let's have a look out the window here. There are also some rules there. A little bit bouncy. We'll go through the bar areas. I think this is a stop. Even though it says no disembarkation, maybe it's some kind of safety area. Bouncing from side to side now. I suppose people can jump off here if they want to. Maybe there's an emergency button if people yeah, don't like it. It goes slowly through this area. That's the other one that's going on the opposite side here. And off we go again. That's where we came from. That platform there. And a lot of bounce. Down there must be a zoo then. It must be. I'll just point it out there's another one there, the green one. There are two zoo trains down there. If this isn't jungle, I don't know what jungle is. <laughs> beautiful place to ride a cable car, and I'm sure it's a beautiful place to have a zoo. Now it's downhill again, quite a steep downhill at that. The map, let me zoom in on that. Let's say where we are, Taipei Zoo South End. Two more stops to go. We're at 299,3 meters. Vertical height between terminal stations 275 meters. Here we go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank See that there's some lovely city views from up here too. Once again there's the Taipei 101 majestically rising there over the hills or mountains. So here we are approaching another station enjoying ourselves as we always do or mostly always do. We should be halfway now. Now I go to the other side because we're yeah, too we'll, heavy. We'll one change side. directions then. Now we're turning, like we said, we're going to the right. You can see from those stairs how steep it's going to be. Here in the city. Right, now the good views really come. It's a little bit cloudy down there today, unfortunately. Still brilliant. Here you can sort of see just how, how high we are. those marvelous views of the city. Are your ears also blocked? I just made like this. Okay. Look at that. thing is when I come to these stations, bye bye, thank you. As I open the doors, so some fresh air comes into the cabin. And I must say, the staff, and generally the Taiwanese people that we've met or talked with, they're all so helpful and friendly Extreme towards friendly. tourists. Extremely friendly and welcoming. Ooh, it's like a roller coaster. <laughs> there we go. Now we go down. Really on the valley here. Over the valley.
farmlands there. I wonder if that's tea plantations. Just look at this jungle terrain. You definitely get something for your money here. Mm -hmm. well, we just got off the cable car here. Let's see where we're going. Michael's getting a few photos. Once you get off, you just go down the stairs, down the exit, Colomaro. When you come down these stairs, you come down into a room where there's a ticket office. And in this same ticket office area, you'll use your easy card or your ticket to get out the ticket gates just ahead. And as usual, everything's so well organized. Somebody's standing everywhere to show you the way. Stand up, Stand up here, and we out. Also very convenient, just here where you arrive, there's an ATM machine. Looks like Maro already went into the restroom, it's just over here in the middle. Ah, Maro's in the visitor center. One of the first things I noticed is that there's free Wi-Fi here, which is a very nice service. And also charging stations for your telephones. The opening hours of the visitor center, Tuesday to Sunday, are 9 o'clock till 5 o'clock. I'm just in the visitor center now with Maro, where there's plenty of information and a big map that shows you what lies where. And for those of you who collect stamps, you can get a stamp here. And here's the map of the area. And I've just got a nice brochure over here, which Mano is holding. Which provides information about what to do in this area. I think those are the areas we're going to be walking in. There's also a kiosk up here. I'm sure plenty of other shops once we get into the main area. Indeed they are. And you can see there in the background, see the first tea house. Just over here. Seems to be quite a lot of activity up here. I'll just have a look around here. In front of me. We're going to have a tea here. Let's see. Maxi starts to get worrying about tea prices. I want my oil on. That's of course she does. why I came here for. Also, snacks along the road. Sausages over there. You can see from these signs that this is definitely a tea house area. All the names of the tea houses located around here. So we got to walk around and see what we can find. Hopefully find the cheapest place to have oh. a tea. <laughs> no way, Max, we're going to go through all the 50 to find the cheapest. <laughs> then I'll save a, me. a dollar on the total price. <laughs> Luckily, I'm the one with the money, so... <laughs> Just kidding. Sort of. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So what's it called? Is it on this list here? Tea dessert house, that sounds good. So which tea shop are you planning to go to? The most expensive. <laughs> there are plenty of tourist buses coming also. Some more snacks. Some more snacks over here too. And the special thing about this restaurant is this guy is here to welcome you. Hello to you too. Well, this is what it looks like next to us on the road. And we're gonna head up straight. I'm not gonna film all the way, otherwise we won't see anything ever. It's very green up here. Mara and I both love these mountain walks. 
this is what Mara was just filming. I think it's some kind of vegetable. Here's another lovely view. Let's see Taipei 101 right out there in the distance.